Hello everyone, once again welcome to part 2. Um, in this tutorial we'll learn about camera animation. Um, Jeff Chick 1 asked me but why you are not up to the end of the lesson did show me how you move the camera is not. Well thumbs up to that. Uh, I believe you're asking me, you're asking me about camera animation. Uh, you asked me as well a I don't know what this is, but uh, thumbs up to that again. <laughs> um, Juiced Buskermullen asked me, can you do a tutorial on camera movement? Thumbs up again. Well, I think you all are asking me the same thing. I hope so. <laughs> and um, that's what we're gonna do right now. So let's get on with it. Okay, first of all, I'm sorry about the. Um, quality of the audio if you notice something I don't have my sound card available right now um, so I'm recording the audio with my laptop so I'm sorry if the quality is not the best or not as good as the previous tutorial so please just bear with me um, now we were left with this in the previous tutorial something around this now, um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going here to render settings. I'm going to uncheck save for now. I'm going to output and set a preset for uh, HD HD TV 2997. Okay. This is the first thing I want to do. I want the the recording area to be this with this proportion. I usually tend to do this in the first place right as I start uh, any project. So um, make sure this is done. Frame range we're gonna put, we're gonna choose all frames. Yeah, great. And first thing I'm gonna do or second thing I'm gonna do is to make a preview. So again just go here on render settings or render to picture viewer yeah render settings is this this one render to picture viewer viewer press and hold and choose make preview you get this i would recommend you to choose quicktime go to options and select h264 and here on frames per second choose 2997 Okay, the rest is okay. Um, click OK. Down here, we're gonna see this bar growing. So bear with me. Uh, it should be quite easy and quite fast to render this. Only 90 frames, so it won't be long. <coughs> and now we have it. Now let's press play and see, okay runs a little bit fast for me now before I animate the camera I'll just have to extend my um, my timeline now it's from frame 0 to frame 90 I'm gonna set it to around 200 frames so this bar will shrink I then I'll then need to press this arrow and scroll all the way to the right okay so this animation for me I think it's a little bit too fast I'm gonna make it a little bit longer so it it looks slower so select small and big the effectors select both of them with the control pressed on and then click and drag over here so you can select this keyframe and drag it around 120 looks okay I think okay uh, maybe 130 let's make another preview make preview okay let's check how it looks looks a little bit cleaner great this is what we want now 
close the picture viewer and to set the animation let's create a target camera so click and hold on the camera and choose target camera uh, go to your top view and move the camera around here somewhere I'm just gonna set this manually so zero on the X and zero on the I push it back and here on this viewport I'm gonna choose use camera and camera so I can see what my camera is looking at push it backwards okay and now select the camera and the target with shift selected and drag your camera a little bit up so it, you, here you can see in the front view it's uh, centered so this is our goal somewhere around here and uh, select only the camera bring it a little bit far far away okay around this so this will be my last frame and I'm going to start with here this is my last frame around here looks good okay so go to our last frame make sure you have only the position I don't know how this, how this is called but anyway only this one is active and click record active objects or keyframe or whatever you want to call this go to your first frame and we're going to choose where we'll start so push this backwards like this and to the left side always making sure that we we have here what we, what we want and we'll want something around I don't know this looks good keyframe it let's check it okay okay now around here I want to add another keyframe and this time I'm gonna um, approximate the camera place the camera closer to the object like so and then keyframe it again so we're on we're on frame 70 okay so let's just scrub here a little bit so we can see what we've got not so bad not so bad at all great let's make another preview okay so let's check this preview not bad okay now we're gonna animate the camera target because we want the camera targets to point at specific regions when we ha when we get here we want it to look at this part over here and a little bit further like here I want it to point at here so we can uh, center the attention on the transformation and later on we want to center it again so let's come into here is okay let's choose around frame 60 I would say and um, go into your front view choose display word shading will help you a little bit see what we have Let me just push this a little bit to the right and I'm gonna choose the target here okay keyframe keyframe, keyframe it there a little bit to the front I'm gonna push it a little bit to the right so frame I would say 80 push it a little bit there keyframe it again
just make this more maybe this is too much I'll drag this a little bit to the left like this let's just check how it looks maybe a little bit to the right so we can see the end of the transformation like so maybe a little bit more to the right okay and around around I would say here on 130 I want this to be at um, the center again so I'll type 0 on the X and keyframe this so let's check check it out okay looks good so let's make another preview and um, we'll see how it goes so here's what we've got okay looks good final tweaks here and there let's just see again what we need to change Not much, I would say. Mm, looks good. So I was gonna recommend you to come to um, the graph editor on the camera in the camera target. Right click on it. Go to show f curves and. Uh, tweak the, the graphic over here but actually I think it looks good how it is so I'm not gonna change any of this um, I think it's okay so we, ha we have our um, camera animated <coughs> and um, I'm thinking about making a part 3 where we'll um, probably uh, set up the lightning and the materials so if you want to see that, please subscribe, like and comment on this video. Ask me to do that and I will be glad to help you with that. So, until next time, see you.